I feel like I've become very transparent. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Astro Near. Today we are headed out on a bit of an adventure. And I think I want to head this way. There's something odd over here in this mountain. There's some spike stuff. I want to see what's over here. Um, hopefully we can drive without crashing too much. Uh, depending on what kind of... Ooh, there's something right there. Uh, the other thing that we don't have that we probably... Now that I think about it. Um, let's get out quick here. Where is the... Beacons? There. Okay, uh, so how much is it? Uh, we just need some compound. Wasn't there some compound right around here? Um, the reason I'm worried about this, you can see here we got a beacon showing us where home is. If we get too far away from home, we will not be able to see where that is. So, what we do is we kind of leave a bread bread crumb trail back home. Um, this stuff will also let us obviously make... That's a cave right there. Ooh, interesting. Um, so I want to make maybe a beacon or two. Alright, so let's head back. We should be able to fill our power back up from our rover here. Then we can roll a little bit here. There we go. What's nice is, is the game saves when you get into this guy too. Uh, looks like we have to watch out here. This might actually be a feature that I was seeing. So this is like a little lander pad here. Oh, we got we got some organic, which is not really super necessary for me. And we've got uh, a little bit of aluminum, nothing too extravagant. Um, I guess this is just a little ravine. There's definitely something up there. Also something right here. So I feel like now we should... Uh, we have enough soil in there? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's start trying to build a bridge here. Just like that. And it looks like we don't have a whole lot left. So we gotta make this wide enough for our buggy to cross too. And that's all we have left. Let me dig up some soil quick. Okay, I think we'll be okay with that. Um, unfortunately, we are going to start running out of power here because the oop, 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 oop. sun is going down. There we go. Now we made it. So the ground looks kind of interesting over in this area. Very interesting. Ugh. Yeah, I've never seen terrain quite like that, but then again, I haven't uh, been done a lot on this. I don't know what those things are up there. So home is still that way. And I think that beacon will turn red when it gets almost too far away. So is there a method of using for brakes here? If I just get out, does it allow me to set the brakes? 
Okay, so this this stuff usually has items in it. It's like space wreckage. Or maybe an artifact. If not, it's just got soil. Um, guess it doesn't look like it has anything. I guess we'll move forward a little bit here. I want to see what these things are up here. On these pedestals. Oh. Really hard to move in this area. Okay, there's another lander thing there. Un okay, so that is a... Those are some sort of uh, research. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can uh, do anything with that. Let's try... I don't know if I can do this properly. Trying to build myself up here. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Oh shoot, I did it again. Because I can't hit spacebar to jump when uh, the alt button is pressed. And I need the alt button pressed if I want to, if I want to uh, get anywhere here. So, what we're going to have to probably do is either try to cart something back there because I cannot, you are not allowed to attach this to anything here. I don't think. Um, so I think even, and I found this out too, if you, you can set storage aside. Okay, so you can put it on like that, but that doesn't really benefit us necessarily until we get going here, because uh, we don't get any power then. So I guess we got to wait for the sun to come back up, um, probably recharge things here um, for now. Uh, let's drop a beacon down. Oh, you can change its color. That's cool. So apparently now it's a purple one. I'm okay with that. And uh, I'm going to run these two research items home. And uh, oh, what did I just do? I'll run these two research items home, and then uh, when we come back, we'll uh, continue exploring where we left off here. Alright, so we're not too far off from where we were. There's actually a really neat cave going through this mountain that I was seeing. But I, I want to say I'm pretty sure that you can get things underneath these trees. I just want to check this. But I may be wrong about it too. Um, apparently not. By the way, I started thinking about things here. If we need that space to, uh, to haul an artifact, well, why don't we just pull a second, uh, a second rover. So I got room on here. I put the, uh, solar panels front and back so they can work from any direction. And, uh, so we got eight spaces there. And then we got room for two of the... Uh, artifacts if we can find some. I did see this out in the distance here. There's a pretty big ship here. So I feel like we might be able to find something. 
So I think it's time for us to... Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, is that, uh, that lithium? That was one of the things we needed. Um, it's really hard to see what's going on in here. I wonder if there's more stuff in here. Let's see here. Careful not to get stuck in here, too. There's something down in here. What is this guy right here? What is this? Oh, a seat. Haha. <laughs> Don't really need another seat, do I? If it was multiplayer, yes. Kind of looks like that's about all we're gonna get here. So this is going out into the rest of the world. So that means, let's see here. We gotta try to make ourselves a little bit of a, a step to get out of here. Oh, oh not enough. Come on. No, I don't want you. Go away. There we go. I guess the angle's what's getting me, probably. Oh, I was up there. Oh, no. Oh, this camera's getting me. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay, we're out. Oh, jeez. That was, uh, complicated. Is there any other cool items around here? It's a neat looking, uh, spacecraft, that's for sure. I like this ground surface, too. It's blue. Okay, that's where we must have been coming out here. That kind of looks like it's got an attachment point. Interesting. A little bit of a ravine there. We get some lithium though, guys. We can actually create our own lithium, which means we can make a battery. This is some sort of a solar panel too. Um, I'm gonna throw copper, lithium, and aluminum. So we got one more spot in there, and then we also got our backpack here. Um, is it just me, or are we unable to see our home beacon? Oh, it's way down there. Um, in that case, if we're traveling in this direction. Yeah. I think it's time for us to do that. Because otherwise we are not going to be able to see our home beacon anymore. See what I mean? It disappears. So now we got this beacon. So as long as we get to that beacon, we can see where... Our home is. Ooh, there's something cool looking over here. What are these things? What is this? That thing is crazy looking. Anything underneath it? Unfortunately, no. Right, let's continue on. Um, the nice part about this too is that the uh, ooh, there's a lander here. Oh, that's a piece of a spaceship, isn't it? Um, the power 
there's two sets of batteries basically so if i use up everything in here then this guy starts charging or uh use putting out power i should say what's over here oh that counts as research and i think these are worth quite a bit anything else here Nice part is, is we've got, uh, we've got two things of soil filled up here. Uh, now three. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there is stuff inside of here. I think I got another thing of lithium. Yeah, you can see here this this guy's charging. Um, yeah, we got some lithium. Sweet. Uh, let's go a little further here. I really want some. Oh, is that the giant? I wonder. I wonder if that's the giant uh, solar panel that you can get. You can bring back to your base. And you have basically unlimited power when the sun is up. This right here looks like research. Which it is. Oh, this thing is big. Um, should probably be careful not to dig ourselves into a hole. So just keep going around. Well, it kind of looks like it stopped right there. Okay, so we are full. Wow, this thing is huge. Kind of looks like right there's the edge of it. Oh boy. Um... I don't know, is there attachment points? All I know is this thing is huge. Very cool. Is there anything special up in here at all? I wanna go up the hill quick here while we got the chance. I know the rover can't make it up here. And I know getting down will be quick. Just wanna see if there's anything. Whoa, okay, there's something really cool up in there. Don't go falling down here. Oh, I wish I could add a little bit more oxygen. Um, I feel like part of this is not going to be safe. I should probably what? No, 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 no. Slow down. Slow down. I do not want to die here. Okay, wait. I want to see what's... There's something else over here I want to look at. Stop sliding. Is this anything? No. Oh. Don't click outside the window. There's a tree over there. All right. So I think we need to take our stuff back. Yes, 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 I know, I'm d dying here. But there are some very cool things in this mountain range that are gonna be really hard to get to, but I feel like we should head towards and try to find. Uh, it looks like here with two solars, yep, it looks like I can uh, drive and not have to worry. Definitely some rocks in the way here. Can we see that item from over in here? Doesn't look like it. There's a big opening over there. It looks really cool.
Oh, do not crash. I don't know what happens if you crash, but I have a feeling it's not going to end nicely. Alright, so let's head home. Now, part of me really wants to come back and look at that thing. Whatever, whatever is up there. I want to know what that is. I'm sure there's good stuff in it. And I wonder, too, if we should, uh, should leave our beacon sitting out there. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I did not see that coming. Oops. We are running on battery power now. There is nothing, nothing showing anymore. No sun. Or no star, or whatever you want to call it. That's okay. It'll charge up pretty quick here. All right. Right there looks good. So, how much, how much research is this guy worth? Eight thousand. Oh wow. Okay, that was totally worth. Worth it. Um, unfortunately, I guess it is going to go a little bit. Uh, it is going to take a really long time to research that stuff. But that will give us. That'll get us into the big rovers. Um, these little rovers are nice and cool and all that kind of stuff. We might use it for small exploration, exploration maybe. Um, for getting up into the mountains, maybe. But uh, I feel like the big rovers are going to be the way to go. So a big rover is going to be 8,000 bytes right there. Um, we're not going to need the open three seat, that's for sure. We may need a wench. No, I know nothing about this shuttle, nor do I know anything about this stuff. There's a habitat, so you can build a habitat and build a second base, which might be kind of fun. Um, we are going to need the large storage here. Drill head, so I think you can make something that'll dig through the mountains. And there's a crane, too, I think, for building things. We got dynamite. So I feel like getting up into that mountain is going to be something that we want to do here. Um, for one thing, I think we're short on compound again. We always seem to be short on compound. I feel like... Uh... Oh crap, I dropped that one. Um, I put the the medium storage guy is here so we got a lot of room to to move stuff around here that should be enough now if we tell this guy to go it should kick all the compounds out so that they're ready to go and we can basically start up a second set if need be here we go steal those containers here before there we go so yeah now it's kicking all that out and it's ready to go for its next set that's really cool um yeah you don't have so let's grab some of this guy um what we probably should be using or getting at some point here is uh battery packs So we got a little bit of organic we can kick in there. And we got this guy, which I'm assuming could be a pretty large amount. Uh, the nice part about the battery packs then is if you have an abundance of power gen, it'll fill up your battery packs and then when nighttime hits, it will feed off the battery packs. So yeah, 250 bytes per second. Uh oh. Uh, we got a storm incoming. And uh, these guys will roll, or will move. Um, let's, let's quickly try to tether this guy. That way he doesn't move. And so power's going straight through and feeding him. 
It looks like it's going to miss us, although I have seen these things hook around. So, uh, I'm going to sit here for a moment and then I'm going to let this thing research. Yeah, it looks like it's coming this way maybe a little bit. And, uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Maybe we can spot where that uh, item is and make a game plan here uh, before we finish out this episode. Because we got something cool up in there that we got to get to. Alright guys, we are hanging out in, in that cave. This is that big mouth opening that we saw when we went past before. Um, it almost looks like a river down in here. It's kind of neat how this got designed. Um, I don't know if this is the spaceship we were looking for. I'm going to have to climb up there to get to that point. But uh, we're just kind of going through here. Um, because I'm in, obviously, inside the uh, cave, I can't get any solar. So I've been collecting power out of the um, out of the walls of the cave. And just keep them on there and it slowly takes it if it needs it. But I saw this dynamite. I know how to pick it up. Usually. Yeah, so you can, you can pick it up like that. Oh, there, that's how you set it off. Um, I want to see what it does. Let's stick it here. Um, let's back up a little ways and do this. Ooh, that looked cool. Not a huge explosion, I guess. But that definitely looked really cool. Um, oh, do we have a storm coming in? Darn it. Yeah, because I can't see a darn thing. Hoping it goes to the side of us here. Uh, I'm guessing not, because I see stuff. This stuff will push our, uh, our rover around, too. I go because of the storm, it just, uh, comes through. Side of the cliff here. Actually, we're getting pretty close to the side of the cliff. We gotta be careful here that we don't get pushed off. Oop. Come on. Pass us by. So I wanna go climbing. I wanna go see what's up there. Biggest problem is I just can't see anything. It's right up there. So I want to make a little bit of a catch pan here. So I'm gonna go like this. Just trying to make an area here, but if I slide down the cliff, um, hope that. Not too, well, actually I'm okay with it not being so high there. Just wanted to expand it out a little ways. Um, so oxygen is going to be an issue. I guess I don't have any tethers on me. What I can do, is quick do this. Get some secondary oxygen on us. A little bit at least. And uh, let's see if we can climb up this way here. Oop. Clicked off my screen for a moment there. Oh, this doesn't look safe. Let's uh, try to knock this down a little bit. Nope. Oh no. Oh boy. Ah, stop. I'm clicking outside my windows here by accident. Um, okay, this is where our safety rail's for. Perfect. Alright, let's try this again. 
Okay, we get up to there. Um. Oh, we are running out of oxygen already too. Even better yet. So, we are going to have to head back down a little bit here. Because we need some oxygen. Maybe I just need to move the car closer. I couldn't see because of the storm before, so. Just try to move the car in, maybe right about, right about there. We're up to this point. Try to knock this down a little bit so we can climb up a little bit here. Alright, alright. And we are trying to get up to here. Let's just keep trying to jump up here. Come on. I can get down quickly, so. I'm having trouble finding a straight up cliff here. Oh boy. Go slow. Oh boy. Oh gosh. That was almost really bad. But I keep accidentally clicking out of the screen. Trying to move stuff around here. So. Alright. So let's try to cut ourselves a little bit of a path here. Trying to get up the mountain here. Um, oh, nope, that looks like an engine. So I don't think we're going to be able to, to go up into the, that side. I think what we have to do is we actually have to find... Alright, right here's the opening. Ooh, some titanium, some aluminum, some copper. And... Uh, care about the chair. Ah, uh, that's 25%, isn't it? Um, slowly. So if that is the space thing we were looking for, we didn't exactly get something too spectacular out of it, did we? Uh, we did get some titanium, which would be nice. And I don't have any more room right now. So I think we're going to head out of here for now. And uh, I don't know what that. Oh, it's just negative. Ah, it's showing that the battery is going down. Okay. So. I guess we've done some exploring. Uh, we're going to have to continue exploring. Um, but I think it's going to be time for me to sign off for this episode. I just want to come around here and make sure that that is the item we were looking for. It might be a little easier to see uh, in the daylight here. But uh, we should have enough bites and stuff in us now that we should be able to push towards getting the large rover uh, so we can get some more items here and then we're gonna have to work towards building ourselves uh, some sort of a spacecraft to get off of this planet and uh, maybe head off into like a one of the other planets that are orbiting around here um, oh, I guess I gotta do this right Um. So you really can't see because we 
aren't at that height that we were at before, are we? Well, I think we got it, so I'm going to call it good. So with that, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. I'm enjoying playing this game a lot now that I'm seeing how much fun you can have, especially with a rover. And uh, I'm going to keep looking for some some science to to work with here and uh, I'll see you guys next time when we do something more something different fun that's I don't know fun and exciting stuff maybe so uh, thank you all for watching and as always take it easy